Maybe you have seen the 1963 American war movie The Great Escape. The film was based on a 1950 non-fiction book of the same name, a first-hand account of the mass escape of British prisoners of war from the German POW camp Stalag Luft III. This camp was one of the around 1000 prisoner of war camps which Germany operated during World War II. At the start of the war, the German army was divided into 17 military districts or Wehrkreis, which were each assigned Roman numerals. The camps were numbered according to the military districts. For example, Stalag 2D was the fourth Stalag in military district 2. Germany was a signatory of the Third Geneva Convention, which established the provisions relative to the treatment of prisoner of war. POWs should be lodged in adequately heated and lighted buildings where conditions were the same as German troops. Enlisted ranks were required to perform whatever labor they were asked and able to do so long as it was not dangerous and did not support the German war effort. Senior non-commissioned officers were required to work only in a supervisory role. Commissioned officers were not required to work, although they could volunteer. The work performed was largely agricultural or industrial work in factories, railroad yards and forests. POWs hired out to military and civilian contractors were supposed to receive pay. They worked, were also supposed to get at least one day a week of rest. The German army camp commanders applied the Geneva Convention requirements to suit themselves. An example was the amount of food or meat to be provided to each POW. Red Cross parcels were seldom distributed. There were other notable exceptions to how the Geneva Convention was applied. However, the inhumane treatment of Soviet prisoners, soldiers as well as officers did not comply with these provisions because the Soviet Union had not signed the Convention and did not follow its provisions at all. Some of the German camps were not the traditional POW camps with barbed wire fences and guard towers, but merely accommodation centers. And now let's see the different camp types. Dulag or Durzganglager was the transit camp. This camp served as a collection point for POWs prior to reassignment. The camps were mainly intelligence collection centers. Dulag Luft or transit camp of the German Air Force. These were transit camps for Air Force POWs. The main Dulag Luft camp at Frankfurt was the principal collecting point for intelligence derived from Allied POW interrogation. Marlag or Marine Lager was the Marine camp. These were Navy personal POW camps. The camp for Allied seamen was run by the Kriegsmarine, so the German Navy, independently of the German Army. Oflag or Offizier Lager was the officer's camp. These were basically POW camps for officers. Stalag or Stammlager was the base camp. These were enlisted personal POW camps. And finally, Stalag Luft or Luftwaffe Stammlager was the German Air Force base camp. These were POW camps administered by the German Air Force for Allied air crews. These was the camp type from where the British POWs escaped.